Hi there folks, Dan here, and I wanted to chat today because I've been getting a few questions and obviously everyone's talking about the topic of the month being chat GPT and the rise of AI and the role of AI that it plays in businesses. And of course, some people come to me and say, well, Dan, you deal with chatbots and chatbots are AI, right? So can I link the two? And can I, you know, use my ManyChat account with ChatGPT? What are the capabilities? What can I do? This sounds really cool. I'm super excited. It's a new shiny light type syndrome. Great questions. Let's cover off, I guess, how they can be used together, if they can be used together, and potentially some other solutions that you may be looking at if you want to go down this path. So for starters, when we're looking at ChatGPT, if you haven't used it yet, um, for starters, you should start. Um, but as we know, it uses pre-trained AI to understand messages. And you can put a lot of information in those messages and give it a lot more context and give it guidance on how to reply. Um, and then you can fine tune it again. You can chat with it back and forwards with it to be able to fine tune and improve the replies that it is giving. So we know what ChatGPT is and it's an amazing tool um, to be able to use on its own, but how can we link it with ManyChat? Now, ManyChat, if you don't know, is a system that we use to build our chat marketing um, systems for clients and for businesses, and we use ourselves. It allows us to have automated conversations at scale across platforms such as Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, and our website. Um, but within ManyChat, it does have quite a limited AI capability in its inbuilt features. Um, yes, it has some keyword capabilities, which are great if you can direct people um, to that exact keyword to be able to use, to be able to um, uh, send what you would like to as a reply to that keyword. However, it doesn't have the ability to be able to understand the context, um, the intent, uh, the background to the messages uh, that people are using. And as they're using more keywords in uh, a message, it won't, and probably 99% of the time, it won't be able to send the right reply unless um, there is a clear keyword in there that it can respond to. So when we're trying to think about if we can sync both of them together, there are um, a lot of videos out there um, around people uh, that have managed to do this. And yes, it is possible to be able to link your many chat account with um, GPT, ChatGPT's um, system, to send replies um, provided by the GPT AI bot. So someone can type a message to your Facebook page, to your Instagram account. You can go out to um, GPT. Uh, you can put that intent in there and then um, you can take what it sends back and you can send that to the user. However, there is a little bit of a caveat with this um, because you can't really pre-train that system to be able to send replies around your particular brand. For starters, um, the replies may not always be 100% accurate. Um, they aren't up to date on anything past 2021. Um, it may not know enough about your brand to be able to send the right replies, particularly if that uh, customer has a question around um, what are the shipping times on uh, my uh, order or if I place an order today? Um, can I make a booking at, or a reservation uh, at your business today? Um, how can I sign up for your course? It's not necessarily going to understand those particular um, intents and be able to send relevant information. In fact, depending on what the question, it may end up sending information about um, your competitors. For instance, if uh, you know someone asked, you know, why is your product better than X Y Z product um, in the market? Then uh, and it's got more information maybe around that other brand, who maybe you know a larger brand that it understands more about, and it may send more information about them, which is obviously detrimental to your business and to your customers. Also on top of that, um, you need to pay for the GPT model um, for every time that you use our AI and call the AI model, um, it will charge you. So uh, it does can get expensive if you're getting a lot of messages and a lot of traffic. Uh, but again, if the messages aren't that it's replying with aren't relevant, then you could easily end up frustrating and potentially use, losing those potential customers. So yes, it is possible, but would you really want to use that 
in its current state that it is. So I want to talk about another solution which uses the same principles around the AI, um, but is able to send answers according to your brand. So that solution is called Dialogflow. Now this is from Google, um, and Google, as we know, are jumping into the AI space. And this may um, change and update again, particularly with the speed that this industry is traveling with Google's recent re um, release of BARD and how it can impact their um, program called Dialogflow. Now, um, Dialogflow uses AI to understand the intent of the user when they send the message. And then you can sync it with ManyChat to, so it knows which reply to send back. For instance, if we use those examples um, previously, what are the current shipping times on uh, your product or on, um, uh, sorry, what are your current shipping times on products from um, my postcode? Now, Dialogflow can understand that to go, okay, it's questions about shipping times, and it can understand whether or not um, that person has put their either location or postcode in there, and if they haven't, then it will ask them for it. And then it can give them a pre-built response to be shipping times from you know uh, Melbourne Metropolitan or postcode you know three thousand are approximately three to five days. Um, same if uh, you know you were a hospitality establishment and someone messaged saying can I get a reservation tonight at eight pm, and then it would understand that I want a reservation tonight uh, at eight pm. So it would say. Um, just confirming you'd like to check if there's a reservation tonight, Friday the 10th of Feb at um, 8 o'clock. Is that correct? Yes, great. Now then you can link that with your booking system or you can submit that request to staff to be able to get back um, get back to them um, manually, for instance. Um, whereas if someone was to say, um, I've got a reservation at 8 p.m. and I can't make it anymore or I'd like to um, change it from four to six people, then it can say, um, hey, have you got a reservation tonight? It will recognize again at 8 p.m. How many people would you like to update the book into? Or um, sorry, you can't make it, just confirming you would like to cancel your reservation for this evening. So I can understand the actual intent in the words of the message that people are sending you. Um, now, it does take some time to set up uh, because you need to understand um, both what, your potential customers are going to ask, um, but you also need to write the replies to those potential questions as well. Um, and you need to set up some of the flows to be able to check that, you know, if um, it's got all the information that Dialogflow can send the right response back. And ManyChat does make it easy to be able to do that, to be, you know, does the, um, uh, does the message contain a date and a time? And if it doesn't contain a time, then it can um, default down to a question to say, what time would you like to make your booking, for instance? Uh, the good thing about this, though, and a positive of ChatGPT is that um, you can use it because it's great to be able to produce content, to reshape content, come up with suggestions and ideas, is that you can really help, uh, really use GPT to help produce those potential questions. Um, you know, you could go to chat GPT and say, um, give me 10 variations of uh, ways that people may ask about shipping times um, on my e-commerce store. And it can give you those variations in there. And then rather than you trying to say, well, you know, they're gonna talk about shipping or they're gonna talk about postage, um, you know, what other uh, freight, what other terms that they sort of going to use, it can do all that thinking for you. So it does streamline that a little bit now and it actually enhances the capability of Dialogflow. Plus the other big thing there, and I've underlined it because everyone loves free and it is 100% free. Um, provided by uh, Google, Dialogflow, no matter how many times you call it, um, using their system is free. So you can easily sync many chat with Dialogflow. Dialogflow will read the answer and then it will say, okay, we need to send this message back in many chat and it will send that um, notification back to um, to ManyChat, and uh, it will then say, "This is the uh, this is a flow. This is a message that needs to go back out to that user." And uh, obviously, most importantly, you do have complete control um, of the AI. So, uh, if someone does ask a question around how does your product compare against is against a competitor, uh, you can build in that reply to make sure that you put your best foot forward 
when people are trying to judge whether or not they choose you or another business in the market as well. So when we're looking at AI and ManyChat and um, enhancing the capabilities of our chatbots, I highly recommend that Dialogflow and ManyChat um, are a much more effective, um, beneficial and cheaper uh, relationship together. So if you're looking at going down this track and as AI becomes more and more um, part of everyday of our everyday lives, uh, there's going to be an expectation from customers and businesses to be able to understand those questions better, that they're going to send your Facebook page and your Instagram account that, you know, they're used to now going to ChatGPT or, or Google um, and to, to Bing's uh, AI um, bot and can ask it questions and it gets a pretty good reply from that. Well, those expectations are going to go over to businesses soon. So it may be time that you need to start thinking about how can I enhance the AI and um, the automations to be able to send better messages to people rather than um, making them wait. Um, on average, most people expect um, a reply to their message within 10 minutes. Uh, that's, that's what um, instant replies are classified to the majority of customers nowadays and that's across all communication channels um so if we can streamline that a little bit a bit better if we can make those replies instant it saves you time sets a better precedent um with a the customer they build more trust they're more likely to convert as well if you'd like to chat about ai and how um you can integrate it into your business or how you can integrate it with your existing many chat account um you can book in for a free 15 minute um diagnosis session um and I'll give you the first steps on how you can integrate AI into your business based on where you're at, what the first steps are to take. Head to chatresponse.com.au forward slash 15 minute. That's one five M-I-N. Uh, and or you can scan um, the QR code uh, on the screen if you're not on your phone at the moment. Uh, and we can chat more about it because this is no doubt a space that you will need to pay more attention to. But when it comes to AI and many chat, many chat dialogue flow, yes. Many chat, Jap, chat GPT, not directly, but it can help improve the responses that you're potentially going to give your future customers. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.